Hopper has been an onside minekind forever. It is a special metal for one important reason. There is copper at every stage of man's evolution. El cobre tiene propiedades especiales como es bastante maleable, bastante dúctil. You can stretch it and it won't break. It's also a good thermal conductor. It heats up quickly and cools down quickly. Le cuivre fait partie intégrante de, de notre journalier. Il est uh, utilisé dans beaucoup, beaucoup de domaines. Copper is a natural component of anything that has to do with electricity. En nuestras viviendas, en los artefactos, en nuestros smartphones, en nuestras computadoras, en tratables, tenemos presencia de cobre en todo lo que vemos. Y en adición, el cobre últimamente se usa como antibacterial. En la industria de la salud, lo vemos particularmente en hospitales, en surfaces, en doorknobs. Es usado en todas las estatuas y monumentos. Es presente en motores applications in the construction world. No existe un elemento, no existe otro material que pueda generar su reemplazo en los usos que tiene hoy. Copper has been with us for 11 millennia. The humble beginnings were ores found literally lying on the ground and hammered by people at the time into small shapes that could be used for cooking, ornaments, pendants. The metallurgy hasn't changed. The scale has changed, of course. From the ancient times, hammering of sheets to today's wrapping of copper coils around wind turbines, there is no shortage of reinvention of, of uses for copper. Para mí, el cobre es el metal del futuro. There is an ambition to decarbonize by 2050. Decarbonization of the world will require a lot of copper to build all the electrical transport, electrical power that is needed. Whether you're talking solar, wind. You want an electric car, there is much more copper in an electric car than a standard one. Today, the world consumes approximately 30 million tons of copper annually. If we're going to meet the requirements of the transition by 2050, we're talking about doubling that amount. In the world, we found copper in different continents, in different regions. Like, for instance, in Africa, we found copper in Zambia, in DRC Congo. It formed a copper belt. We also found copper in South America. Eh, principalmente, tenemos eh, yacimientos en lo que es Perú. Tenemos eh, a harta presencia de cobre en lo que es eh, Chile. Eh, Australia, China, Estados Unidos como principales fuentes de administración cuprífera. ¿no? Como primera etapa tenemos el tema de la perforación de los blascos a través del uso de explosivos y de emboladuras masivas. Las zonas mineralizadas son llevadas a, a tamaños que puedan ser manejados en nuestra planta de proceso. El mineral hacia las, hacia las chancadoras y plantas de proceso y el desmonte hacia los, hacia los botaderos. El proceso empieza con rocas más o menos de, una pulga, de un metro eh, de diámetro. Y la idea es poder reducirlos en una etapa primero de chancado, primario, a 5 o 6 pulgadas. Y después es transportado hacia la etapa de molienda. El molino pesa gruesamente 1.200 toneladas, o sea, es un, es un molino enorme. Luego, eh, este molino produce un tamaño de partícula que es como una arena de mar, que está listo para entrar a la etapa de flotación. Y en la etapa de flotación, con la ayuda de unos reactivos y con agua, nosotros separamos el cobre de las partículas que no lo son. Es como un pan de pascua donde las pasas son el cobre y el resto es lo que no vale. There is two types of copper ore, oxide ore and the sulfide ore. The oxide ore goes directly into the leaching process. In leaching, acid is added to our ground ore in order to dissolve copper and dissolve it into a solution. The solution gets uh, purified and then enriched, and then it goes to electrowinning or we produce a copper cathode at 99.99% copper. In terms of uh, copper sulfide, we'll uh, melt the material first. While you are oxidizing the sulfur, it generates heat, and that heat will be used to melt the material that comes in. Pour produire le cuivre, on doit travailler à des hautes températures pour s'assurer de mettre en fusion la matière. 
Donc, euh, ici à la fonderie, on va travailler à titre d'exemple au niveau du cuivre à 2200-2250 degrés Fahrenheit. And from then, we can oxidize the, the parts that are to be separated from the copper. And uh, it's done in four furnaces. So it goes from 25 to 70 to 98% copper. When we finish the process of recovering the copper, we are producing copper anodes weighing about 300 kilograms each. They will be sent to the refinery. When the anodes arrive at the refinery, we have to prepare them to go in the electrolytes. We put the anodes between two stainless steel sheets. Current is going to pass through. The copper will dissolve into the electrolyte and go towards the cathode and it's going to plate out on the stainless steel sheets to produce the cathode that we actually sell. The final product is copper pure at 99.99%. And they're going to be bundled, packaged and sold to our clients. What is wonderful with copper is that you can use it and use it and use it again. You just have to melt it and reform it. Copper can be recycled an infinite number of times and the quality will always be the same. Recycling will play a huge part in complementing the contribution from primary copper to meeting the demand attached to the energy transition. And it has advantages also in terms of lesser emissions in the in production process. El cobre, eh, para mí, me fascina por la forma eh, como, como se hace en la industria para su extracción y el uso que finalmente tiene, ¿no? que es tan vital para la sociedad. Yo me siento orgulloso de formar parte ¿no? de, de esta cadena para generar y producir esta materia que es muy útil para la humanidad. Es una composante que es súper importante, entonces el cuivre hace parte integrante del futuro. There will be no energy transition, no climate goals met without copper involved one way or the other. What matters really is finding the way to meet the demand sustainably, making sure mining is increasingly environmentally compliant, socially compliant, and that is what we will do our best to achieve.